This is the Coast Guard 52-footer at Columbia River coming upriver. Uh, this is right out on the bar. There's about 10 foot of swell. This is 52314 out of Cape Disappointment. Uh, we're going to be heading up the coast here, crossing the bar in a few minutes. Uh, the next pictures will be uh, considerably up the coast. There's Cape Disappointment in the background there. Now we're at off of uh, Quileute River on the northern Washington coast. Those are some of the big rocks up in the general area there. We'll be approaching Cape Flattery here in a few moments. You can see the uh, chart plotting on our screen. Of course, we're bouncing around pretty good. It makes it difficult to get uh, a good camera action. I've got to practice uh, some more about how to uh, get the camera stabilized so that uh, you don't feel like you've been uh, through a washing machine. But there was enough chop uh, and swell on that particular day. This is a Sunday. Uh, time right now is about 8, maybe a few minutes. About 8 o'clock in the evening. And, of course, we're approaching uh, Tattoosh Island here. Occasionally you can see the lighthouse sitting up on top of the island. And, of course, we're bouncing around pretty good, throwing some spray. There's around 10 foot of swell. And it'll be dark uh, in about one hour. So we're trying to get uh, up through the hole in the wall that uh, you can see there between Tattoosh Island and Cape Flattery itself. Take a close look at the uh, uh, landmass in the far distance back behind Tattoosh Island. That's uh, the uh, hills of uh, Vancouver Island itself. And of course, that's part of British Columbia. And as we get up closer to the uh, tattoos, you'll be able to see into the hole and see the uh, two big rocks that uh, sit out in the middle of the passage. Occasionally, you'll see a big break come along and uh, spray up over the top of it. Uh, this is near high tide, so uh, the rocks aren't uh, very exposed. And uh, uh, we're not getting near the uh, amount of uh, break over the top of the, uh, island, uh, the uh, rocks the passages uh, usually happens. There's Cape Flattery on the right there, and you're looking right straight into the uh, hole uh, between the island and uh, the cape itself. And then we're back to the island itself. Tattooshes right here, and there's the lighthouse again. You can see it's uh, hard to hold on to the camera because it's uh, just uh, we're just bouncing around so much. Uh, ten foot of swell and uh, some chop, and of course some of it's being reflected back off the. Uh, uh, rocks and cliffs uh, right around us. That's uh, right at the west end of Tattoosh Island. There's the uh, hills back there of Vancouver. They're out in the background. It's uh, like about 20 miles away. And of course it's uh, boiling over the end of the uh, rocks on the end, the west end of Tattoosh Island. And we're slowly moving up to get uh, in a position to uh, run through the passage. Too bad I uh, couldn't get the camera a little bit uh, more stabilized, but it was uh, uh, pretty bouncy and rough. It was a fairly small, lightweight boat, so you can see what the results are of that. There's a good shot of uh, the lighthouse. Maybe it'll just stay in focus a moment. There we are. There's back over on the uh, Washington mainland shore. We're looking into the passage. You can see the uh, rock boiling. Uh, in the center of the passage, occasionally right uh, in the frame, but uh, right now on the left-hand side of the frame. We'll get back over to it here in a moment and uh, get a sh chance to see what it uh, looks like. You can see that we're very close to the uh, rocks of uh, Tattoo Island. We come right up uh, along within about 50 feet of them as we pass around the south side of the island and through the hole in the uh, passage. There's the, uh, the rock boiling a little bit. It's, uh, it's such a high tide that uh, it really isn't showing all that well. And of course that's uh, extra danger. Somebody might come into the passage uh, in the dark or maybe who was uh, unfamiliar with the area and uh, end up right on top. There it goes, boiling away. But you could end up uh, right on the top of that and get uh, uh, taken, uh, taken pretty good to the cleaners. Now we're approaching the rip in the shallow section right in in between the cape 
and to Tattoo Island itself. And it takes uh, maybe about a minute uh, to work our way through all this uh, little bit of chop. And then you can see the calm water out there in the uh, Straits of Juan de Fuca. And uh, we're coming up on it. Uh, bounce a little more, spawn, throwing a little more spray. Yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get out of here in uh, in a minute or two. And uh, quit throwing the spray and have a nice uh, calm uh, right up the uh, the straits. There, we're just about into the uh, calm water, and you can see straight across to uh, Vancouver Island back there. And there's the uh, chart plotter. You can see the uh, the line where we came through and the fact that we're just coming up past uh, the Flattery Island itself. There's one of the numerous logs out of the Straits. We're coming into Everett uh, Harbor here. This is uh, also the uh, home of the uh, uh, Pacific uh, Fleet uh, in the uh, northwest uh, uh, part of the uh, U.S. here. Uh, they moved a bunch of the big uh, ships out of uh, San Diego several years ago, and uh, now a lot of it's uh, uh, stationed uh, right here at the uh, Everett uh, uh, Naval Station. That's part of the uh, Navy uh, works right there. Pretty quick, we'll be coming up on uh, uh, the Coast Guard uh, cutters. There's uh, one of the uh, new 80, 87 footers. I think that's uh, the Shark. And just beyond it, uh, you can barely see the uh, uh, edge of the Coast Guard uh, cutter uh, buoy tender uh, with a black hull and uh, the big red stripe.